Well, a happy, happy Tuesday, Muse Day around the world. Well, here I am inside my house, and uh, I was I went out to try and do this outside, but it was so cold. I thought, come on back in. So I came in, I sat at the piano, and I uh, thought I'd do it right here. So I planted my piece of uh, equipment on the piano, and... Uh, I'm here talking to you people around the world. It's just great, isn't that great? I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, happy holidays, and because uh, it was quiet, but for us a little bit quiet, but we enjoyed it very much with the members of the family that we had with us, enjoyed it very much. Well, it's that time of the year, you know, the time of the year, which is coming up, a brand new year. And I, I have time to reminisce, I think, you know, think on back to some beautiful moments spent well, in my in my early days, when I when when New Year's was coming along, and, and uh, every you know we we planned to go out for that's the front doorbell. Um, we planned to go out, you know, for New Year's, New Year's Eve, and then, but nobody ever stayed out and brought in the New Year's wherever they went. You know, like we used to go to a dance for New Year's, go to New Year's dance. You know, my 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 wife and I went be courting. Uh, and uh, we'd we'd hurry home to get home for 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 New Year's because we hurry home to my mother and father's house, and that's what every member of our family more or less did who was in the vicinity in, in the areas. You know, they would they would come and spend 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 New Year's with our parents because they we never wanted them to bring it in on their own, and uh, not because we had to. It's because we wanted to, and it was kind of a mark of respect that we showed our parents at that particular time. That was it was great, great bringing New Year's for them. It's just wonderful. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do this year, but uh, I rem I know that when God took my parents, and and then after that, when we my family was young, so we all used to uh, I used to take my family to Austria a place called Hofgarten. We, we met some dear friends over there and uh, we sort of made it a habit. We took the kids skiing for the New Year's, you know, and, um, and that, that's what we would do. And we met these lovely people over there and the gentleman and the lady that uh, had this house, we would either stay in the house or stay in their guest house. They had a guest house, which is a, was a massive building. And, and we'd stay in there or we'd stay at a place called the Sport Hotel. And it depends how full they got at that particular time there because everyone was skiing, you know. Uh, and I was just beginning. <clears throat> so anyway, we'd go up there. I had to spend New Year's in this place and Hofka was lovely, a lovely scenery and everything like that. And on New Year's Eve, you know, we'd all, um, uh, we'd all go down to the square. There was a square and a mountain, a you could see the uh, a, a sheer mountain high up high, and 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 right before midnight, you see all the the ski instructors and the the good skiers, the you know the very good skiers that they would ask to do this particular job. They would all carry these fire torches, uh, and um, they'd come down this mountain, and we'd see them right there. You know, you see them in the mountain, see them all coming down these mountains, and they'd plant them in the ground uh, of the year of that particular year, you know, like 1975, 1978, and you'd see it up there, and then the bells would start ringing, and, and everybody would be drinking glue wine and and singing in, in the square. It was just lovely. It was a different form of New Year for us, but we started to enjoy that, so we did it every year for about 27 years, and it was just amazing. And then, of course, the kids became quite efficient in skiing, and and uh, Bradley got so good, he became a ski instructor and used to go there every year for, for a couple of three years to, to, to instruct in skiing. So, you know, everybody, uh, we, made, we made friends over there, unbelievable. We knew everybody, everybody knew everybody. It was a small little village. And we knew the, the, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the, 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 the carpenter, the, 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 the chemist, the, the pharmacist, the, uh, uh, the sausage maker and uh, everybody, you know, ski instructors. And because I always went out with a ski instructor and I and my family always always went out with a ski instructor. And that's where we'd bring in the new year. And it was just an amazing. 
and of course I would uh, our friends would ask me to throw in a piece of coal and a piece of bread and money you know and for, for the new year you know for you know as good luck before we entered the house at midnight uh, everybody would go out of the house before midnight and uh, uh, I mean the and when they entered the house at midnight, I had to throw that in, well, after midnight, because we'd watch the skiers first. And so it, uh, it was a, a kind of a tradition which turned out to be great. I enjoyed it very much. And, but we knew everybody in that area. And to this day, we still, we still keep in contact with them, even though we don't frequent it now in, in the new year. But what are you going to do for New Year this year? What are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do because we were shut down. We have to stay in. <laughs> what can we do? You know what? Do the best you can. Do the best you can and bring it in the best way you possibly can. Be happy and, and be thankful that you still have your health. And, and if you're not feeling very well, we'll pray for you. Okay? Around the world, I'm going to say goodbye right now. Okay? I'm going to say goodbye until next week, until the new year comes along. Okay? God bless you, and remember, I love you.